Stephen Heritable used WeaveChain and Base to create Web3 wills for secure, decentralized inheritance. Our stack uses WeaveChain to expose security functions with simple API calls, like building verifiable Merkle trees of claims, creating quantum-resistant dilithium signatures, managing the smart contracts used for anchoring to base, and establishing a decentralized oracle of death, all while maintaining GDPR compliance. Our product starts by letting estates define a set of inheritance claims, which we put into a Merkle tree. This lets inheritors verify that individual claims are a part of that set. We anchor the roots of those Merkle trees to the base blockchain, creating a timestamped immutability guarantee for the will, so it can't be tampered with especially because we added quantum resistant dilithium signatures from the estate to prevent spoofing even in a quantum computing world. Now, traditionally, inheritance is managed by a centralized party like a lawyer, who estates pay to be a trustworthy party who can declare when I'm dead and give away my assets. Instead, our estate names witness wallets to act as a decentralized oracle of death. Those witnesses then add their signatures to another smart contract on base and the will is unlocked once the appropriate consensus criteria is achieved to ensure I'm actually dead. With the will unlocked, inheritors can call the WeaveChain node to see any claims associated with their wallets. And with WeaveChain, data is stored off-chain in a revocable way that's GDPR compliant. Now let's take a look at this product live. Here's our estate user interface, preloaded with inheritance claims and witnesses to certify my death. I'll come over here and connect my wallet and then write my Web3 will. With that complete, I can go and launch the base block explorer. See that I just had a transaction a few moments ago. And in that transaction, I can actually see the hash that was written as well as my dilithium signature. Next, we'll switch windows and use the product as a witness. After connecting my wallet, the only action here is to sign the message bearing witness of death. With that complete, similarly, I can go and launch another base block explorer for the smart contract that contains the signatures showing that proof of death. Again, inside of these transactions, I can drill down and actually see the signature from that wallet. I'll quickly go and grab an attestation for my second witness. And we can see that the will is now unlocked. Finally, we'll open an inheritor view. Let's connect our wallet just as before and check to see whether this wallet has any claims within this estate. And we do. Just for fun, I'll go and copy this claim, put it into my box over here, input the amount that I'm receiving, and verify that it's still in the Merkle tree. And we see that yes, that claim is in the Merkle tree. Now, if I change even one character to this claim and try to check again, we will see that this claim is not present anymore. This is an exciting space that we plan to pursue after the hackathon. We're already under contract with the team at Aerified who is dedicated to this vision. We also want to build triggered release mechanisms for crypto assets upon death, though we designed the system to work for any asset. We also want to enable percentage-based claims, but it was easier to do discrete values. And a notification engine would have been sweet using something like XMTP. Finally, our comprehensive UI prototype kind of fell victim to the hackathon horse. Thank you to the Base team and WeaveChain team for supporting our work here. Base was fast, reliable, and we love that it's potentially 10 times cheaper than other L2s. And WeaveChain provided the security tech, so we just had to focus on utility. We're thrilled to be building towards a decentralized future.